Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in our last video we showed you how to decorate an individual menu item and have it stick out that way. Today we're going to show you how you can move a particular item over to the right hand side and have it separate from the others. So we're going to turn this menu into something like this. So we've got our contact button over on the right hand side there. Really easy to do. We are going to use a bit of CSS coding to do this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code I write, I'll put below the video. You're welcome to use it and manipulate it however you wish. So let's get started. To do this today, I'm going to go to my theme customizer. I've got it open right here to get your customizer. Go to your dashboard, down to appearance and customize, or you can go down to Divi and theme customizer, both the same. When you get there, it'll take you to this menu. At the bottom, you're going to find an additional CSS panel. This is where we're going to write our code today. Okay, to make this work today, I'm going to pull this whole menu across over here, a little closer to our logo. So let's just select our menu. I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm going to right click and use the Fantastic Inspector tools. Most browsers have this now, but if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. So I'm going to inspect the menu. I want to take my responsive toggle off and see what we've got here. Here's our logo. Let's inspect one of the items. There we go. Here's our whole top navigation, ET top navigation. So I should be able to just float it to the left by saying float left great that's pulled it over to the left there but it's a little too close to our menu or I should say a little close to our logo there so let's give it a little bit of margin on the left and push it back to the right slightly so I'll say margin left let's say 100 pixels great that's just about right fantastic so to make this permanent, we need to write the code. We've got our ID right here, div ID, ET top navigation. So I'm going to double click on that. It's an ID rather than a class, control C to copy. So all IDs have to have a hashtag in front of them. And then the ID itself. And after that, let's open and close some curly brackets. Inside here is where we need to put our code. So I'm going to copy the parts that we wrote here. There's the margin left and the float. Again, control C to copy. I'm going to paste them in between our two curly brackets there. Let's publish. And let's refresh this page and just make sure it's going to work. Fantastic. It stayed where it is. Just what we want. Okay, to push this one across so it's a little further out of the way than the other ones to make it stand out. Let's select this one. Again, I'm going to right click and inspect. And we've got menu item 230 that makes it stand out from the rest. So again, I'm going to take that. That's a class name this time. So I'm just going to take that last class on the end there, menu item 230. These are all class names. It's okay for things to have multiple classes, but we just need that one to be able to target it. It's a class name, so it must have a dot or a period in front of it. Then the class name itself. And again, let's open and close some curly brackets. And in between, we're going to write a little bit of code. And to affect this one, I just want to push it over to the right a little bit. So let's give it some margin on the left. Margin left. And let's say perhaps 200 pixels. Obviously, you do yours however you want it. And that way, it's pushed all the way over to the right-hand side there and it's sort of segregated from the other ones. And that's a nice little effect. You see that quite often, especially if you've got one that you want to stand out from the rest. If you decided, let's just take this away. If you decided you wanted more than one, just select the one that's next door to it, inspect it. And we've got 
232. Now, if we give it a margin on the left, it'll push both of those. So margin left, 200 pixels. And as you can see, it's pushed those across and so on and so forth for all the others if you want to do that way. But I just want the first one there, so I'm going to reselect my little 230 we've got here. And we're going to give it margin left 200 pixels or whatever you want and put it in there. Let's publish our changes and again we'll refresh the page. As you can see because I've pushed both over there it's pushed it down because it's pushed it off the end there. When I refresh that should go back to how it should look. There we go and there's our little button on the end there. We're all published up let's make sure our page is going to do what we want it to do. Let's refresh this page here. There we go. That's how to move an individual object to the right hand side. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.